office hours. Probably fairly open-ended for a lot of you, which is working. Others have created a Google Sheet where people come in and fill stuff out. A lot of you have expressed your concern about what if they, you know, switch stuff and edit stuff and for certain groups it's not a problem for others. It's like, that's probably not a good idea with my kids. So uh, we'll be looking at two things today. One is an extension which our IT guys, Dan, Victor, have uh, deployed for all of our accounts. It might take a couple hours to show up. They did it this morning. You'll see some little icons maybe in your browser which looks like a Zoom. I'll show you something in your calendar which we'll play with today. Uh, also looks like a little Zoom icon. Zoom calendar. Tech tidbits, office hour meeting time slots. Pretty cool. So, some of you have dealt with time slots before. Um, they're really easy and they're nice. Because somebody comes in, if you're not familiar with it, they fill it out, it's locked in, you get a message, but an integration with Zoom, which makes it also very nice. So what I have done here, I've created a few. Um, they're for a past event Tuesday. I'll show you what it looks like. So in mine, I've added a few things just to make it foolproof for the kids. Um, some content, which I have, which I'm gonna copy right now. So I have my personal ID. If you click on that, it calls me. Um, if for some reason you're dealing with kids, say maybe you're Quentin. Um, or Ms. Hoffman and you're dealing with lots of kids and you talk to them and maybe at some point in time they, they didn't establish that contact. I've put this in just in case we're not contacts in Zoom. There's my contact invitation link as well. So I got this cool little thing at the top here which has my little cell phone. So anytime you click in calendar, normally we just start writing but at the top here you'll see it's like oh out of office is an option. We're looking for appointment slots. I'm going to call this office, maybe, office hours, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, this is the important thing. So, if you're working your 3 o'clock in the afternoon to your 4 o'clock, now, here's the cool part which makes it very easy for all of us. So I'm going to go with slots with duration of, let's just give yourself some time in case, you know, some kids go nuts and you get four kids in one day. Maybe there's a, a break in between. So what that's going to do is between the time in three and four, it'll create four opportunities for four individuals to come in and sign up for a 15 minute chunk each. Now I'm going to click on more options now, which is very important because now <laughs> over here, I can do my repetition. Weekly, where is it? Daily, weekly, that's what I want, Monday through Friday. Great, so now um, there will be slots already boxed out for people to come in and sign. I'll show you how that looks in a second. <clears throat> now I can go ahead and dump this stuff in there which I copied. It will be a moot point when I show you how this over here on the right, this which will be on your soon this Zoom for G Suite function is. Now, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, this should populate this day and the following week and forever, right? Let's see what it does. Office hours, there they are. Now, I'll see this little box thing when I'm looking at stuff that anytime I see that little quad business, the box, that means it's a time slot. Now, if I click on this, there's a cool little link in the middle. Go to appointment page for calendar. This is very important because this is what you're going to share with your kids. And this is what they see, right? Oh, mm -hmm -hmm. coming in. So we'll go to next week. And there it is, Monday through Friday. Here's the uh, first two and the second uh, session, which is number three and four, 15 minutes a pop, one hour. So a kid comes in. Uh, he wants to meet with me uh, March 25th from 3.15 to 3.30. Clicks on that. I will tell the kids, 
and I can put it in the description, right? Um, just in the what section, put your name. You might suggest to all of them some more detailed process about what it is they're going to be talking about. Probably not. Um, you know, student X. Now, boom. Now, from the student's perspective, this is what they see. You can see over here it's turned blue. On my calendar for next week, we'll go to next week. It already shows up, boom, office hours with student X. Easy. I will get a message saying student X has filled out the office hour time slot, whatever, in my inbox. Now I can come in here and I can hopefully, this will work. I can do my, sorry, more event details. And now, here we go, hopefully this works. Yes, there it is. The Zoom meeting function. I don't have to do this. Kid can call me, we can do that. This just makes it a little bit more official and maybe streamlined. Now, if I save this, this now shows up. Let's see my zoom. No upcoming meetings, but if I go to my <laughs> meetings button, Wednesday, March 25th, office hour student X. So, I mean, it's, you know, Maybe it's gratuitous. Links to you can call, the direct call. Now it's scheduled as an office thing. It's on your calendar, it's on the kids' calendar. It, it's all over the place. People can see that you're gonna be busy and they're not potentially gonna call you um, based on your calendar or that sort of thing. So it's hyper-organized. Uh, it's got stuff all over the place. Let's go back and have a look at this again. So here's my meeting. I marked that as a Zoom meeting, which added it to my Zoom meeting list under my meetings button and Zoom right here. Going back to this, um, click on any one of these office hours. This is go to appointment page for this calendar. When you give specific instructions to your kids about what details you might want them to put into this. They can write in here, right? They can say where, they can, if it's probably gonna be in a, a location, um, they can say, hey, this is regarding my extended essay, that kind of thing. You can tell them, you know, these are the directions for booking times with me regarding a multitude of things we need to talk about, service learning, extended essay, what have you. Um, when you send out this link right here, this URL, this copy link, right that'll go in an email it can go in the stream in classroom with the instructions about how to use this um, it saves in their calendar it saves in your calendar you get a message in your inbox you can tick on that turn into a zoom meeting and now it's very official when now here's the actual meeting number so i mean the kid can just call you they can click on this link down here um sorry that's not it but it, it's there if i click on this one office hours now it's got some Zoom information um, attached to it as well. Zoom meeting, that's literally the ID for that meeting. So easy and, and cool. Uh, once again, if you do not see this icon over here, it will show up in the next, I'd say at the most, 15 hours. If you can't wait, just click on the plus. Because I know it's exciting, right? You want to use it right now. It'll pop up. You'll see the, um, probably Zoom will be first because it's super popular right now. There it is. Uh, mine's installed. You just click install, hit yes to everything, and then it will pop up on the right as well, okay? You'll see some other things like in your browser. There's another video for that in terms of what that Chrome extension browser does. So as always with any of this stuff, um, if you need a little more help, need some more direction about how this might look in your class, be creative. I can help you out with that. Um, just. You don't have to book time slots. That'd be redundant. Just uh, shoot me an email and we can Zoom.